rules of the game are the rules of the game and the Republicans are having elections historically. City Hall say it's not often Prime Ministers reach out to mayors, but he was contacted by the Canadian Premier shortly after he was elected. And today, this was what resulted. Handshakes and hugs in Montreal. It's such a pleasure to sit down with uh, uh, the Mayor of London. Uh, it's, uh, it's an opportunity to talk about, obviously, the uh, strong and close friendship uh, Canada has with the UK and the many shared interests, but more specifically, uh, how uh, important love it is to, uh, to the global economy, but also to the story uh, we're trying to tell about diversity and inclusion. Good to be with a friend. Uh, your election in October of 2015 inspired those of us who are progressive. Uh, we also learned from your positive campaign, reaching out, enthusing, and energizing, and uh, it's, it's a pleasure to uh, meet you. I told my daughter I was going to meet a rock star in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> They've asked my mother, doesn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have know our reach, Justin Bieber, uh, you, uh, let us know. But it's great to meet you. L'honorable Sidi Khan. They shared a platform at this conference where London's mayor was asked immediately about tensions after the Brexit decision, including the recent murder of a Polish man. The Brexit campaign was used as a proxy for grievances people had. So if somebody was unhappy, they couldn't get their child into a local school, they blamed the EU. If somebody had a grievance because they didn't get the health care their parents needed, they blamed the EU. And I think, you know, that's the politics of fear. Both are on the left of politics and united by recent strong victories. I think the example that Sadiq and certainly uh, we were trying to put forward as a, as a model is uh, to know that people are better uh, than some of the negative divisive politicians think they are and give people an opportunity to pull together, be optimistic and face these challenges head on. He's interesting to many because of his religion, the first Muslim mayor of a major western city, and he took the chance to offer this. There are people in Daesh and so-called ISIS who say it's incompatible to be a Muslim and to hold western liberal values. And by the way, there are far-right politicians in the USA, in the UK, and elsewhere saying the same thing. Not lost on anybody which US politician he was referring to, but his host wasn't going down that route. I look forward to working with whomever the American people choose as their president. He doesn't even have to ask the question anymore. Who, who, who believes him when he said that? From here, the mayor flies on to Chicago, where he will again, in a speech, plunge right into the US presidential contest, accusing Donald Trump of hostility to Muslims and breeding radicalism and alienation. The need to build bridges, not walls, is the message he once noted here. Tim Donovan, BBC London News, Montreal.